focus in the nearly 12-year-old murder case of a beloved beauty queen. Tara Grinstead disappeared from a small Georgia city back in 2005. Police now have a suspect in the death of the high school history teacher. 48 Hours correspondent, that's Peter Van Zant, began investigating this case back in 2008, and he has the only interview with a woman whose tip led police to that suspect. Peter, good morning. Good morning. It became the largest missing persons case in Georgia history. For more than 11 years, this murder mystery remained unsolved until this February, when two new suspects were identified. Number two. <laughs> I'm an 11th grade history teacher at Irwin County High School, and I just completed my first year teaching, and I, I loved every bit of it. Tara Grinstead's disappearance from her home in Osceola, Georgia in 2005 made no sense to her friends, family, and police. I knew something was wrong. I knew that it, it was serious. I knew that something beyond her control had happened. In what became the largest missing persons case in Georgia history, investigators interviewed more than 100 people, friends, ex-boyfriends, anyone who had any relationship with Tara. In nearly 27 years with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, I've never encountered such a complex and difficult case. Welcome to Unsolved Edition. I am here yet again with a new video, but before I begin, please subscribe to the channel for more fascinating stories like this. All of our social media are linked in the description below. Tara Grinstead was an American high school history teacher from Osceola, Georgia, who went missing on October 22nd, 2005, and was declared dead in 2010. On February 23rd, 2017, a press conference was held by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, formally announcing that a tip had been received that led to the arrest of Ryan Alexander Duke for Grinstead's murder and concealment. On March 3, 2017, an additional arrest was made public in connection with Grinstead's disappearance when Duke's former classmate, Bo Dukes, was charged with attempting to conceal a death, hindering apprehension and tampering with evidence. Grinstead was born November 14, 1974, in Hawkinsville, Georgia, to Bill and Faye Grinstead. She had one sibling, Anita Grinstead, a native of Hawkinsville, Georgia. Grinstead won the title of Miss Tifton in 1999 and competed in the Miss Georgia beauty pageant. Her winnings from this pageant and many others that she'd entered helped her pay for college. Grinstead graduated from Middle Georgia College in Cochrane, and in 2003 earned a master's degree in education at Valdosta State University. In 1998, she began teaching history at Urban County High School in Osceola. On October 22nd, 2005, the night before her disappearance, Grinstead visited a beauty pageant for which she was a coach to young contestants. On October 24th, a Monday morning, she did not show up for work. Co-workers called police who went to the home where she lived alone. They found Grinstead's cell phone inside the house and her car outside the house. Her purse and keys were gone. Local police immediately called the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, feeling that something was wrong and the case was beyond the resources of the small town police department. The GBI found no signs of forced entry and no sign of a struggle. Urban County High School principal Bobby Connor was quoted by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution as saying, we're a small community and this has really touched home because it's something to read about happening elsewhere. This is someone with a tremendous magnetic personality and the kids love her. In 2008, the Grinstead case received renewed attention with a report on the CBS news show 48 Hours Mystery, which noted the similarity of Grinstead's disappearance to that of another young woman, Jennifer Kessie, in Orlando, Florida, three months later. In connection with that 48 hour story, police revealed that they had found DNA on a latex glove that was found in Grinstead's yard, just a stone's throw from her front stoop. In February 2009, videos surfaced on the internet featuring a self-proclaimed serial killer, dubbing himself the Catch Me Killer. The man in the videos detailed what he claimed to be his 16 female victims, and one of these women was determined by authorities to be Grinstead. Although the man's face and voice were digitally obscured, police eventually determined the video's creator to be 27-year-old Andrew Haley. A police investigation revealed the videos to be part of a bizarre, elaborate hoax. 
and Haley was ultimately eliminated as a substantial lead in Grand State's disappearance. In 2011, the chief GBI investigator said that this case has never gone cold, adding that leads still come in on a weekly basis. Running from 2016 to 2017, the Up and Vanish podcast was credited by officials and media for helping shed new light in the evidence and reigniting public interest in the case. On February 23rd, 2017, the GBI announced that they had received a tip that led to the arrest of Ryan Alexander Duke for Grinstead's murder about three years before Grinstead's disappearance. Duke had attended Urban County High School, where Grinstead was employed as a teacher. According to warrants read in court, Duke burglarised Grinstead's home, and when she caught him in the act, he strangled her and removed her body from the house. Another arrest on March 3rd, 2017, was made public in connection with Grinstead's disappearance. Bo Dukes, a former classmate of Duke with no relation, was charged with attempting to conceal a death, hindering apprehension and tampering with evidence. Grinstead's sister, Anita Gattis, said that she has known Bo Duke's family for years, but never connected him with any part of her sister's disappearance. In August 2017, a grand jury filed four new charges against Dukes, two counts of making false statements, one count of hindering apprehension of a criminal, and one count of concealing the death of another. These additional charges are based on a Wilcox County indictment stating that Dukes had lied to a GBI official who had questioned him in 2016 concerning the disappearance of Grinstead. After Ryan Duke and Bo Dukes were arrested, Irwin County Judge Melanie Cross issued a gag order prohibiting anyone involved with the case from talking about it in order to protect Duke's right to a fair trial. Georgia television stations WMAZ and WXIA challenged the order in court and Judge Cross relaxed the order but still restricted public comment by anyone working with the prosecution or defence, court staff and current former police officers on the case. WMAZ and WXIA again took this order to court and the case went to the Supreme Court of Georgia in 2017. In March 2018, the gag order was tossed out in a unanimous opinion. The trial of Bojux began on March 19, 2019. He was found guilty for his role in helping cover up the murder and was sentenced to 25 years in prison on March 22, 2019. Ryan Duke's murder trial was set for April 1st, 2019, but the Georgia Supreme Court delayed the trial on March 28th, 2019, after Duke's lawyers contended that they were unconstitutionally denied funds for experts to testify on Duke's behalf. The trial began on May 9th, 2022. At the trial, Duke pleaded not guilty to murder and blamed Duke's for the killing. On May 20th, 2022, Duke's was found not guilty of murder aggravated assault and burglary, but guilty of concealing a death. Three days later, Dukes was given the maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. If you liked this video, or you want to add something that I missed, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Also, subscribe to our channel if you want to know more about similar cases.